Hey guys, so this is going to be a tutorial about WordPress, how to use it, just like a general introduction to it. I'll go more into the specifics. I'll include links in the description of the specific ones that I'm going to go to into, but this one is just a really basic overview of what it can do, how to do posting. It's what I'm going to be focusing on on this one. So, if you have a WordPress at the website, I'm not 100% sure if your dashboard is going to look exactly like this. This is one that I have installed on my domain. So if you have a dashboard like this, you're good to go. If it looks a little bit different, I'm sorry, I can't really help because I've never been on that website before, so I don't really know how it is. So the first thing you're going to do is, if you don't know how to log in, usually you can just type in WP WordPress dash admin, and that's going to bring you to a login screen. So that's how you log in. I didn't know how to log in the first time I had it. That's how you log into your dashboard. So once you're in your dashboard, you're going to see your different statistics like how many posts you have, how many pages you have, comments, how many you need to approve, and anything that got flagged as spam. You're going to see your latest comment, a whole bunch of other information over here. So the most important part about blogging would be how to post. So. I'm going to show you how to post something really fast, but first I'm going to look over, we're just going to go take a look at my blog to see what you can do with WordPress. So these things over here, these are your pages, and you can customize each of those however you want. You can even have um, menus that pop out of there, just like this, they'll have little menus that pop out so you can have pages upon pages. Um, you can make galleries like this, so where you click on this image here it's going to bring up a bigger image you can click on that and you can scroll through the gallery that's a different way that you can add an image into that um, your users can leave you comments you can just click on the little bubble thing just leave a comment and post comments now you're going to have to approve the comments I'm not sure if that's a setting or if it's always like that but it's a good idea to leave them as approved being that a lot of blogs get spammed and have a bunch of stuff that you don't really want to be promoting on your blog, so I would just leave it as approve. Then you'll get an email and then you can just log back in here and just approve your comments. Um, you can, after your gallery, you can format things. You can just add images. You can even have, you can play movies. You can host those on there and it'll link it in your media thing. So it's, it's pretty straightforward what you can do. These things, um, your RSS feed, it's like a subscription thing, so once you update your blog, it's going to automatically tell people that you uploaded it and everything. So that's a good idea to have. These over here are called um, widgets. If you want to add a different one, you can have like a calendar up here if you want. Or you can have your different categories that people can specifically look for posts that they want to do. You can have your archives by month if you want to do it that way. So that's called a widget if you want to customize that. And your header, it's your basic rundown of what the blog's going to look like. And as I said, I'm going to have links about how to customize all of this. This one is just an introduction and I'm just going to go over posting on this one. So you can go back to your dashboard and to post something you're just going to click on posts over here on the left hand side. You can also use this one over here if you wanted to just quickly do something. You didn't want to log into your posts. You can't add like customize the personal settings. I'm never really in that much of a rush. There's also something where you can copy a link up here. If you're on a website and you want to just like post, if you're like on YouTube and you want to post the video up to the thing, all you have to do is click on this hyper, this little widget tab thing. I'm not sure what the official thing is, but it's going to bring up a separate little thing that you can just use. And that's going to give you all your basic things. You can do this on any website. Like, if I wanted to go to, let's just go to YouTube. Why not? You just want to go to YouTube. They changed their page again, I see. But if you really liked this thing, be like, I love this video. I have no idea what it is, but I love it so much. You can just click on your little tab up there, and it's going to give you a title already. It's going to give you the code. It's going to give you a hyperlink. So you don't even have to log in at all. So that's an option that they have, which is kind of cool, but like I said, I, I never really use it. I just 
blogging times, blogging times, log on. So if you want to do it the official way, you click on posts over on the left hand side and you can either click on add new over here or there's an add new over here, it doesn't matter, they're the same thing. And it's going to give you your all your posts that you're going to have, all the ones that you did, you can edit them. Just click on edit, it's going to bring you back to the writing thing. You can see all your everything that you posted here. So you can edit and delete stuff if you don't want that. You can change categories. Anything you want. So it's it's pretty basic rundown. Just, you know, click here, go up here, move to trash. You can trash everything if you want. You can quick edit it, which is going to give you all of your different options without opening up the larger page if you want to just edit everything really fast you forgot to put categories in all of them or if you don't have any tags on some of them so we're just gonna do an example post up here so this is what your new page is gonna look like if you don't just add whatever howdy y'all something like that so you can just type in your title there it's going to give you this page right here and your permalink this would be your URL you want to give out to someone if you want to link them directly to your post you can also edit if you don't want to give away the surprise of the title being howdy y'all you can be like pancakes and I'll be like pancakes what and just click that and that's going to give your name if you want to give that out Usually it's not really important, I just let it do it automatically, but in case you want to change it, that's how you do it. So you basically got your text editor over here, which is pretty much the same as Microsoft Word, WordPad, text editor. You know, you got your bold, italics, you can add paragraphs, formatting. It's pretty simple. Um, if you wanted to insert images, you just add an image right there, just click on that going to bring up a little box. You can choose your files to upload. It's just like any file uploader. Just find whatever file that you want to upload. Just click open. It's going to give you progress bar, how fast it's going to upload. It's going to give you a preview, a thumbnail of that. You can change your title. Alternate text is if you hover over an image, that's what you get. Caption, it's the same thing except it's just going to show up underneath it and not hover over it. Description, if you just want to describe the item. Link URL would just be if you want to copy and paste that in with HTML somewhere. That's what you would do. Alignment, if you want to have your image inside of a paragraph or something. If you want to have it on the inside and have your text going around it. If you want to have it centered or right. That's how you do that. Um, if you want to have it really small thumbnail you just click on that you want to have it medium large full size whatever there's a lot of options you can always like experiment and see what works best for you but we're just going to insert it in there as a thumbnail it's going to give you a little picture over here if you don't want to see it visually you can click on html it's going to give you the tag if you're used to editing images that way but usually visual is more appealing because you get to see what it looks like. But once you get done writing it, blah blah blah, shimma, shimma, na, 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 na. once you're done doing that, you can just click preview up here. It's going to open a new tab that you can see what your post is going to look like. If you made a couple of mistakes, just go back to your tab, make an edit, go back to preview. If you want to come back later, running out. If you're going out on errands, just click save draft. It's going to save the draft in your pages over here. It automatically saves it, which is why you saw that weird page before. Um, your visibility, if you want to keep it as private and just give people this address to see it, only certain people, you can do that. You can also password protect it. And then only people that have that password can access that page. It's like the top of the line thing if you want to hand it under the table and give someone that. That's how you do that. If you want to do a schedule on your blogs, like if you want to write all of them on Sunday and you want to 
publish them throughout the entire week. You can say, I want to publish this May 2013 at blah, 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 blah time. So that's a good thing if, you have, if you're going on a vacation and you don't want anyone to know. You could just have your blog automatically post on Mondays while you're gone. No one would know the difference. Um, formatting, it's... I don't really use it. I just format everything in how I like it over here. But if you want to try out what these look like, just feel free to click on format and then preview it. See what it looks like. I never really touch it. Um, categories, if you just check whatever your post is about. If this is clearly about animation because it's my thesis project. Just click on animation. This is good if people go to your blog and they just want to look at all your animation stuff. It's going to show up over here. Like, if you have a widget over here, you can just search for all the posts that are under 3D animation, something like that. So that's a good idea to set up your categories. I'll post uh, another tutorial on how to do that specifically. Um, your tags would be keywords, what your post is about, like animation, photography, bookkeeping. Just keep them simple, keep them relevant, don't write a whole novel about it and everything like that. So once you're done with that, you can just publish it and it's going to publish that back onto your blog. So that's the basics about the WordPress and introduction, what you can do with it, how to post. So if you're interested in any more tutorials, leave me a comment below. I'll be making more tutorials of these. Subscribe to me and you can get informed about when they're coming out. I'm not a WordPress guru. I kind of just figured this out because I needed to make a blog for myself, so I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll just post my knowledge because it was kind of confusing and I couldn't really find anything that was interesting enough to watch to teach me how to do it. So this is a basic rundown for anyone that wants to watch it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to answer it, but I'll definitely check it out, maybe give you an idea of how you could possibly go about doing that. So found it helpful let me know if you have any suggestions comments or anything leave me a comment i hope it was helpful and i'll see you in the next one